Hello guys, this is Adeep. Hope you are all doing great and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is about the all new PS6 Kawasaki Ninja 650 and it retails at an ex showroom price of Rs. 654000 Before going into the video, do not forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon to not miss any of my future updates and you can also find the link to my Instagram account in the description box below. The Ninja 650 is a 650cc sports motorcycle from the Japanese manufacturer Kawasaki. It is only available in a single color which is right in front of us, the candy lime green. Coming to dimensions, it is 2.1 meters in length, 0.7 meters in width, 1.1 meters in height, 1.4 meters of wheelbase and the ground clearance happens to be 130 millimeters. The height of the seat from the ground is 790mm and its curb weight is 196kg. The Kawasaki Ninja 650 uses a trellis height and side steel chassis and it gets disc brakes both at the front and rear along with dual channel ABS. Coming to features, it gets a TFT color instrument console, smartphone connectivity, new improved windshield, new Dunlop Sport Max Road Sport 2 tires and it gets 3 years of 50,000 km of warranty as standard and it can be extended up to 20,000 km or 2 years more. The Kawasaki Ninja 650 looks very sporty and in the front it gets these LED TRLs along with LED headlights. This is the all new improved windshield and moving to the side it gets this fairing and Ninja 650 stickering right there, turn indicator, reflector placed right over there and in the front it gets a dual semi floating 300mm petal disc with dual pistons from Nissan and this is a 17 inch alloy with a tire size of 120 by 70 R17. Coming to the engine, it is a 650cc 4-stroke parallel twin cylinder which produces a peak power of 68 PS and a torque of 64 Nm. It also gets fuel injection with dual throttle wheels and it is paired to a 6-speed manual transmission. These are functional air dams to improve the aerodynamic efficiency of the vehicle. Rear set footrest. This is the rear disc brake reservoir. And coming to the rear, it gets a single 220mm petal disc with single piston. And the tire size happens to be 160 by 60 R17. This is the exhaust of the vehicle. And moving to the rear, it gets these grab rails for the rear passenger. LED tail lamp. Halogen turn indicators. Rear reflector along with the number plate light and number plate holder right there. Coming to suspension, it gets a 41mm telescopic fork with a wheel travel of 125mm at the front. And at the rear, it gets a horizontal backlink with adjustable preload and a wheel travel of 130mm. It uses a forced wet sump for the lubrication and it gets a wet multi-plate clutch. Kawasaki written right there. This is the fuel tank of the vehicle which is 15 liters. This is the switch gear on the left side of the handlebar. This is for the high or low beam. These are for the turn indicators and this is for the hazard light. This is the clutch lever of the vehicle which gets slipper clutch along with adjustable functions. These are the rear view mirrors. And on the right side of the handlebar you get the kill switch and the electric start button. This is the reservoir for the front disc brake and even the front disc brake gets an adjustable brake lever. The key of the vehicle is to be placed over here. And coming to the instrument console you get the telltale lights at the bottom left and right. And in the middle you get a color TFT display which shows gear position, twin trip meter, stackometer, digital speedometer fuel level, odometer, 
time, coolant temperature, average speed, total time, battery voltage, instantaneous fuel consumption, average fuel consumption, range, etc. Now let's hear the exhaust note of the bike. Now let's get driving. The Kawasaki Ninja 650 offers good amount of grunt. This is not yet a fully fared version of the Z650. The motor feels very tractable and in fact the low end performance is very nice. The mid range is where the bike really shines and even the top end it is no less. The gearbox is super slick on shifts very easy and the clutch is also on the lighter side. It redlines at 10,000 rpm and crosses 100 km per hour in second gear itself. In fact, 0 to 100 km per hour comes in under 5 seconds. It gets tubeless tires and gliding through traffic could be a bit of an issue as the motorcycle is quite wide because of the mirrors, but the mirrors offer a good view of what's around. The foot pegs are rear set, which is a comfortable poster. You almost sit upright. The suspension is tuned to be on the softer side, so comfort is not an issue and also the high speed stability is quite good. The exhaust could have been a bit louder and sportier, but the only issue with the Ninja 650 is the vibrations that creep in at the higher end of the rev range. Since it gets a slipper clutch, the up or down shifts can be done quite aggressively and coming to fuel efficiency. It gets 20 km per litre from its 15 litres fuel tank with a usable range of 300 km. It is quite surprising how Kawasaki manages to offer this kind of performance. I mean it feels quite punchy through the entire rev band and there is no flat spot whatsoever. And even the suspension of the vehicle is brilliantly calibrated with a good balance between high speed stability and comfort over bad roads. So guys, this is my review of the all new PSX Kawasaki Ninja 650. Hope you guys like my video and do not forget to subscribe, like and share. Bye bye.